Hello, I'm advocate sports columnist Scott Rabelais with our LSU football beat writer, Brooks Cabina. We're out here outside LSU's football practice facility on Tuesday uh, with our LSU uh, SEC championship game video report sponsored by Hancock Whitney Bank. Uh, full, full day of practice today for the Tigers. They're practicing today and tomorrow. Uh, yesterday was just kind of a light day. Uh, Brooks, the, the team looks to be pretty healthy. Uh, there were a couple of people maybe missing for personal reasons, but other than that, uh, they look to be about as healthy as you could expect at this point in the season. Yeah, and that's been kind of the deal all year. Ed Ogeron's talked about how healthy the program's been and how that's how that's gone, and the uh, person that returned today that's most noble, Racy Mook Math, was missing yesterday, and he had the 58-yard touchdown in Saturday's game. He, he's back today, and uh, they certainly look really healthy going in. Grant Delpit's full go. I mean, he talked about that when he came back for Texas A&M, and it looks like they're well-rested, and uh, look like they're prepared to uh, have everybody there for the SEC championship. There's going to be bumps and bruises after 12 weeks of football, of course. I think you probably say Georgia, especially offensively, they're in a little worse straits. They're missing uh, Cager, one of their top receivers, and then uh, Pickens, their second leading receiver, is going to be out for the first half because of a fight against Georgia Tech. Right, and uh, you know that's that's part of the deal that goes into this game, and they'll match up probably well for that first half. And LSU fans are kind of familiar with missing people in the first halves of games, but. Uh, uh, certainly uh, going to be interesting Saturday, and who knows, maybe LSU will be, what, number two, number four? We'll, we'll find out tonight with the College Football Playoff Committee coming out with their rankings today. That's right. The second-to-last college football rankings come out uh, at 6 p.m. on ESPN. Of course, the final rankings will come out sa Sunday at 11 a.m. when uh, the, the CF CFP pairings are, are completed. I know LSU's coming off a, a very impressive 50-7 to win over Texas A&M Brooks, but uh, Ohio State beat Michigan convincingly. I, I, I just don't expect the Tigers are going to be uh, number one uh, when the rankings come out. I don't either. I think the committee was waiting for Ohio State to get big wins over big teams uh, to jump them to number one, and Michigan was a big win. It was a wide gap, just like they've done in the past couple of years, and I, I think in the Big Ten Championship, it's going to be the same thing, and I think LSU has to win very convincingly against Georgia, and Ohio State would have to play very closely for them to jump to number one. Yeah, they got Wisconsin. LSU's playing a higher-ranked opponent. Could give them two wins over teams that were in the top five at the time, Georgia and Alabama, if they win. Kind of a hostile situation. The committee might take that into account. But, yeah, it's going to have to be an impressive win, I think, for LSU. So one more full day of practice tomorrow. The team leaves Thursday for Atlanta. And then uh, Friday they'll have a walkthrough at the uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium in advance of Saturday's game. Reporting from uh, LSU practice, follow us, uh, by the way, uh, on advocate.com and then the pages of The Advocate. Uh, I'm Scott Rabelais, who's Brooks Cabina. This has been sponsored by Hancock Whitney Bank.